Hey guys, um, I haven't done a YouTube video in a very, very long time now, I think over a year. Um, but I've been wanting to get back into it for ages. I've got loads of ideas that I wanted to do. Um, and I've just got this, just received this literally 10 minutes ago. Uh, this is a new camera, of course, much to my wife's uh, <laughs> joy. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a Pentax 645N medium format film camera. Um, I've started shooting a lot more film recently, really getting into it. I think it's making a massive comeback, especially with the younger generation. Um, people like myself that started shooting digital and actually have never shot film before. Um, there's definitely a nice sort of nostalgia to it, on top of the fact that, you know, like with digital, when you're editing in Lightroom and stuff, editing your raw files, you're either using presets or you've got certain tweaks that you usually do with files. With film it's completely different, you know, you just, whatever look you want, you choose your film stock, um, like this Portrait 400, depending if you want black and white, you shoot black and white film, if you want colour, you shoot colour film, and there are plenty of different varieties out there for different kind of looks that you want. Um, but I digress, so yeah, so I've started shooting a lot more film recently, uh, currently shooting with uh, Minolta X700 35mm film, and uh, this little beauty, this little Olympus Trip 35 that my father-in-law lent to me. Um, really enjoyed shooting with that recently. And uh, yeah, I've just sort of, as most photographers do, I get gas, gear, acquired syndrome, or whatever they call it. And uh, I've been eyeing up a few medium format film cameras, and this one just caught my eye, and I managed to find a great deal uh, in a company from Japan, so I paid for the customs charge. Uh, and it, you know, I've been waiting by the window for a while, as my wife will agree. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it showed up today, so I thought, what better way to get back into doing some YouTube videos and then unboxing video. Everybody loves those, so I'm going to unbox it now. I've never used one of these before in my life, never even held one. Um, so I'm going to unbox it and see if I can load some film. I've got some Portra 400 here that I bought, and then uh, I'm just going to try and figure it out. There it is, there's the bad boy. Not uh, not too heavy, Abby, not too heavy actually, not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. So this is it, this is the camera. This is the uh, Pentax 645N. Uh, it's a medium format film camera, like I said. Uh, it's come with the 75 uh, f2.8 um, manual focus lens. So this camera does take autofocus and manual focus lenses. Uh, and this 75 2.8 comes in both versions, but I actually got the manual focus version just because it's a little bit cheaper and I actually prefer to shoot manual focus most of the time nowadays. Um, so come around, I'll, I'll show you a few things on it. To be honest with you, I don't know what I'm showing you yet, but um, I've shot a lot of cameras, so hopefully I'll figure it out. So obviously the lens has got uh, the focus on it and the aperture, you can adjust the aperture there. Um, anything from f22 to f2.8 and obviously auto as well. So we've got the exposure compensation on the left and uh, adjusting the shutter speed on the right. Um, I think with this camera you can have fully automatic so I can set the aperture to automatic and the shutter to automatic if you want and just let the camera do everything or of course I can put it on you know um, fully manual as well which is nice to have the option. Uh, the side here, we've got uh, the ISO, so I think you set the ISO by putting it on that. So let's see if I could turn it on, oh, actually it probably needs batteries. Uh, so that is probably the battery compartment, yep. <clears throat> the good thing about this camera is it actually takes AA batteries. A lot of uh, old film cameras take these random batteries that no one's ever heard of and they're really hard to get hold of. Whereas this one, you know, you could just buy some rechargeable AA's uh, and use them, which is great. From what I've heard, uh, the battery life on it is great anyway. It doesn't run out too quick and you can put six batteries in it and it will last for ages and ages and ages. So, pop that in the right way to help. Right, so we've got off on switch there. So that is now on. And then on the dial here, you've got uh, that looks like single shot and continuous shot. Let's see if it's actually working. There's no film loading. Oh, nice. I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and continuous shot there. 
beautiful and uh, obviously self timer as well if you want to put a timer on there um, so loading the film I've never done this before uh, I have looked at a video online so I think to take the back off obviously you've got this little flip here flip it turn it either way and it should open oh, there we go so it kind of springs out so that's your film back for the 120 film this is all new to me. I've never loaded 120 film in my life. So I've got some Quattro 400 that I bought, five rolls of it. Um, and yeah, I don't know really what I'm doing. It's a nice 120 film. So I need to take that little bit of paper off. Okay, so. Uh, that's the empty spool, spool. So I think that you put that in the end side there. Clip that down. And then this is the, oh, there's actually a little diagram there, look. So, clip it in, close the lock, oh look, so you've got S for start as well, which is very handy. So as far as I'm aware as well, the black side is obviously what you want facing up, because that's where your uh, photo is going to develop onto. Okay, so then if you come in here, I'm pretty sure you've got this nice little gear here that you wind, and you just wind it until you see the start line there so you have a little arrow that you just line up with that start line and once that's lined up I think you are good to go as such lock it back up and I think don't hold me to this if I take one test shot it will then wind the film so it's ready to go so There we go, now it says shot number one, so you usually get about 15, 16 shots on here. Um, so that's good to go. So that's me, chuffed with that. Uh, I'm gonna take it out for a test run. I mean, this, it's been raining for days, but the sun's just come out, so I might take it out for a test run now with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay. Uh, and then, yeah, maybe I'll show you some pictures. So, should we go take some pictures? Mm -hmm. And can I take some pictures of you? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Lolly! For a lolly. <laughs>